بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه The brothers and sisters in Islam السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته We praise Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his countless blessings that we are enjoying as human beings and especially enjoying the best ni'mah, the best blessing of Allah upon us as Muslims the ni'mah of Islam, the blessing of Islam the blessing of the Quran the blessing of this beautiful month of Ramadan the month of blessing, the month of forgiveness, the month of victory, the month of brotherhood, and you name it. There are many more beautiful names attached with this beautiful month of Ramadan. It is an important thing for a Muslim to reflect on his or her achievements. As human beings, when we invest in something, when we start a business, we tend to check how we are going about it. Weekly, monthly, seasonally, we check whether we are going well, successful, or we need to make some changes, modifications, so on and so forth. So likewise, as Muslims, we need to reflect on our behavior, on our connection, on the way that we are treating this beautiful month of Ramadan. Since the beginning of Ramadan, we need to just go back a little bit before Ramadan and compare this year's Ramadan to the previous year. Last year, in 2020, there was lockdown almost everywhere in the world. And we could not come together. We could not even get together as friends, relatives, to have iftar together. Yes, we were fasting. But we enjoyed fasting, but we did not really enjoy the other aspects of Ramadan. The benefits that we normally really get excited when we are get together, when we are able to come and pray together in the masjid, Taraweeh prayers, Jum'ah prayers. So that was something that we had to learn a great lesson from. It was a bitter experience for all of us in Australia. But this year, Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has removed this obstacle, this problem from us, at least, Alhamdulillah, from the Muslims of Australia. There are still millions of our brothers and sisters in lockdown. They are living in the similar situation like last year that we have gone through. But there are Muslims who are facing even worse. For example, in the recent days, you've been getting the news about the increase of this COVID cases, especially for example in India, daily going over 300,000 and thousands are dying. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us all cure those who are affected and shower his mercy upon our brothers and sisters who passed away due to this COVID. So what I want to say brothers, we as Muslims need to always reflect and take the opportunity that Allah has given to us. If we don't appreciate, if we don't utilize the opportunity that Allah has given to us, it could be taken away from us. Then we, what we do, we only regret. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls us to reflect on the blessings of Allah. He says, وَإِن تَعُدُّوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْصُوهَا If you want to count the blessings of Allah, you won't finish counting. Among the things we need to do is that we must thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his blessings. And the blessing of Islam is number one, definitely. We have to thank Allah for guiding us to Islam. We have to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us good health. And especially Muslims in Australia, we have to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we are safe now. We are better off compared to many millions of people around the world. So while reflecting on this, we have to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in terms of being a true servant of Allah and obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this month is actually a month of training for all of us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us from 
the soil, from the earth, and made our nourishment from the earth. Our food comes from the earth. This is our physical need. Our physical need gets fulfilled from the earth that Allah created us from. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us the soul, the spirit, that which actually carries our body. It came actually from above us, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from the heaven. And the nourishment of that was also given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the high realm, from above, through the Quran. And when we keep these two together, balance it, then we can live physically healthy, spiritually healthy. And to improve our spiritual health, well-being, Ramadan is the time to reflect. Now, since the beginning of Ramadan until now, we need to reflect. Where were we at the beginning when we started the month of Ramadan? How excited we were? Now, as we are in the month of Ramadan, are we still going, are we still climbing high spiritually or are we at pause now? This is something that we need to reflect. And also we need to remind each other about this responsibility. Because Ramadan is a time that where we, one can achieve the best, best of spiritual gains. In terms of earning Allah's mercy, earning the forgiveness of maghfir of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and most importantly, saving ourselves or achieving salvation from the hellfire. And all these three aspects are in the month of Ramadan is in abundant. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given the month of Ramadan for the believers as a gift. Not as a burden, as a gift to benefit from, to utilize it by fasting during its day, by reciting Quran, by doing everything possible to get close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the question is, how much we have achieved in the first 10 days? In the first 10 days. And then when we move to the second one, then we have to reflect differently as well. When we enter the third one, third phase of it, then we have to reflect differently. But each one should keep us stronger and should connect the first phase, first 10 days to the second, second to the third. And when we finish the month of Ramadan, we come out of the Ramadan happy, pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that Allah is happy with us and we have earned and gained the full benefit of it, earned the full forgiveness and earned the full reward of Allah, a reward of fasting from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the fasting is for me. If my servant fasts properly, then I will reward him, I will reward her in a way that no one can imagine. So this reminding of reflection pondering on the month of Ramadan. And this reflection comes through the pondering and reflection on the Quran. Because every night, every day we recite Quran. We have to understand what Allah is actually telling us. Reciting Quran is not about spending some time using our tongue, repeating certain words. It alone helps us, brings us lots of good deeds. But the real purpose of reciting Quran is we have to feel that we are communicating with our Creator Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every verse we read, every verse we recite or listen in our tarawih prayers, we need to try gaining something out of it. We need to get some lessons out of it. And we try to implement that in our day-to-day -day life. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the energy to stay strong, to keep climbing high, and to achieve the full benefit of the month of Ramadan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.